What's up guys, I'm Matt Solomon and welcome to Formula E High Voltage, the first official Formula E game and part of the Rev Motorsport ecosystem. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you through all you need to know to get started, from setting up your account, creating your team, to actually getting on track. Before I do, make sure to like and subscribe with notifications turned on so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's do it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to set up your account. So go to FormulaEHighVoltage.com and as you can see on the top right hand corner, it's going to ask you to connect your wallet. So click on that button and you'll see a pop-up that asks for your email address. Go ahead and type that in. You'll then get a six digit code that gets sent to that email. So once you get that, type that in as well. Once you've entered all those details, you get the next pop-up, which will show your email address as well as your flow address. Go ahead and click approve and that's it. Now that you're all signed up, you're going to have to pick one of the three starter teams to get playing. So you've got Mistral Racing, Hera Autosports and Gus Motorsports for you to choose from. Pick your favorite color or team and go ahead and click claim. All right, there you go. Now that you've got your two drivers and two cars, you're almost ready to get on track. All right, so welcome to the game menu. And as you can see here, you've got your two drivers and two cars ready for you to go. So first, let's check out the team. So click on the team tab on the bottom there, and this will show you your driver stats. So as you can see on the left, you've got Tempest stats, who's got 69 focus, 64 handling, and so on. And those are your driver stats. If you look on the right, same thing applies with Zephyr. There's a few extra details that you want to take note of. As you can see right below the driver's name, you've got a special bonus that you can use. So right here on the left, you've got Tempest Stats with Raging Gloves. So when you use that in game, uh, while in aggressive driving mode, that will increase your lowest attribute. So looking on the right, Overtake is your lowest attribute with 48. So when you've got Raging Gloves activated, that will boost those stats as well. As you click into the car screen, you'll see a similar type of stats with acceleration, braking, and so on. And if you look under the name of the car, you'll see it's got special bonus power-ups too. So here you've got Cycling Acceleration Tornado, which is a passive skill. So during neutral driving mode, it will increase your acceleration. So if you look into the middle, you see your team score. That's made up of your drivers and car stats and will contribute to your overall performance. So going back to the main menu, this is what you all here for. We're going to jump into a game now, so you're going to click on that race button. There's a few game modes here that you can choose from, but we're going to jump straight into a battle. Currently, there are three events you can join. So you've got Berlin, Diria, and Seoul. And if you look down under the track map, you've got different types of weather, time of day, uh, the direction of the track, how many laps, and how many attack zones there are on the track. As you know, just like real life Formula E, attack zones are areas on track where you can drive slightly offline to gain a bonus. What this does in games allows you to access a 50 kilowatt speed bonus, which you're able to deploy for a few seconds to gain an advantage over all the other cars on circuit. I'll show you that in just a sec. All right, so choose your favorite track. Right now, I'm going to jump into a race in Berlin. All right, so once you're happy with your team, go ahead and click join again, and you'll see a pop up that asks you for rev tokens. Go ahead and click on pay, and you're going to see another pop up that asks you to approve the transaction. So click on approve and wait for a little bit, then you're going to get taken to the next screen. Here you'll see your selected team along with the leaderboard to see who you're up against. When you're ready, click on battle and let's go. All right, so we are on the grid, five lights on and away we go for the first race here in Formula E High Voltage. Flying down to turn one as it gets very crowded here, it all bunches up. So I'm going to take a moment now to take you through all the buttons you're going to need to know. As you can see on the bottom left and right hand sides of the screen, you've got your two consoles where you can choose your different actions. With Formula E High Voltage, you're not physically steering the car or, or accelerating or braking, but you're going to have to choose strategic decisions that make the most out of the race. So as you can see here, there are a few buttons you can press. You've got the green button, which is in the most conservative energy mode. You've got the yellow button, which gives you a neutral mode, which uses slightly more energy, as you can see there by the battery bar. And then if you enter the purple mode, that is obviously the fastest and uses the most energy. So in this game, it's all about battery management. So you're going to have to be very conscious as you're around the track, when to use your battery and what power ups you're going to use as well. There's a lot of strategic decisions you have to make, whether you're in a fight with someone else or you've got some clear track to be able to push. All right, so as you can see here, by clicking into the yellow neutral mode, I've also activated one of the power ups. And this is something that you're going to have to keep track of as the race goes on. All right, here you can also see the regen button, which is to regenerate your energy, which is done through the braking zones. So click on that when it goes green, that's when you're regenerating your energy. You can either do this manually or it also happens when you've actually run out of battery itself. So unlike real life Formula E, you won't just stop on track. You'll be able to keep going just with slightly less energy. All right, so in the top right hand corner of the screen, you can also have a look at the leaderboard and see where you are on track. 
You can also see this in your little driver icon, but as you can see, clicking on this button will show you the full grid and where everyone is on track. Just above that, you've got the camera button, which lets you cycle between the different camera angles. Click it again, and you've got the full track view to see the map and see where everyone is on track. As you can see there, the leaders are quite a long way ahead. We're about in the middle of the pack. Another thing to note is where the attack zone is. So as you can see on the map, it's right in the middle of the track there at the hairpin. So coming up to that, I'm going to get ready and activate the attack mode. So following Zephyr right now, we're going to click on activate to make sure that the next time we get to the attack zone, he's going to drive in there and get that bonus. All right, so coming up to the hairpin now, as you can see, Zephyr is driving offline into the attack zone, which has lost him a little bit of time, but he's also going to gain that energy boost. So now the button's turned to deploy. We're going to click on that, and that's going to give us a 50 kilowatt bonus that we can use and now hopefully get a speed advantage on the other drivers ahead. So here we've caught right back up to the pack now, and let's see how this plays out. All right, so final lap now, as you can see there on the top, it says plus one lap. And I haven't really managed my battery very well. My drivers are currently sitting 19th and 12th, but hey, that's racing sometimes. So at the end of the race there, we finished 12th and 18th, which is not ideal, but it's not too bad. So we've gained 11 points here, which has put us in ninth place on the leaderboard. Now going back to the hub, you can see there against all the other players, we're currently sitting fifth, but we're gonna tweak our strategy and manage our battery slightly better in the next race to make sure we climb higher up in the rankings. There you have it. That's all you need to know to get started with Formula E High Voltage, the first official game from Formula E. I had a blast. I hope you will too. So I hope to see you on track very soon. Till then, keep revving.